How you guys? Ivan Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're doing a, um, a vlog on different arcades in the city. So we're at Plaza Arcade now and um, there's two ways to get here. You can go down this little alleyway over here and get out into the A Street Mall or you can go over here through Uniglo and get through it. So we're going to go through Uniglo and um, have a look at the different arcades in the city. Now Uniglo is a fairly new store here. It's been open for about three or four years, I think. This used to be part of Plaza Arcade. It still is because it butts onto the arcade, but it's just you're just walking through a uh, department store. different um, clothing and all sorts of stuff in here. Very popular shop in the glad. Uh, you have to walk up these stairs over here. Quite a steep few stairs, not many to walk up. So now we are entering uh, Plaza Arcade. This will take you from, we were in the Murray Street Mall before, and this will take you through to the A Street Mall. Seems like a few different shops over here. They're all opening. There's a place over there to get your nails done, girls and guys. Um, another place over here that sells authentic Australian out, Outback Gear called Outback Red. camera place over here on your right. They've been there in Plaza Arcade since the year dot. So quite a long time. The arcade's looking nice and neat and clean. This looks reasonably new. I haven't seen the shop before. People are having their coffees over here, having their coffees made. There's a few shops for lease in here, not many. A chocolate shop on your right over here called Daryl Lee. They're not um, open at the moment but you would assume they would open up later. And we're heading down, um, we're heading towards the Hay Street Mall now and straight in front, another clothing shop there and straight in front of us over there is London Port. So we might, might head down there because that's another arcade. It'll actually take us from the Hay Street Mall out to St George's Terrace. Okay, so we're going to head down London Court now. I'm just showing you the front of London Court. <laughs> London Court's actually a, a very old um, arcade in the city. It's actually heritage listed. So we'll have a look down London Court. We have featured London Court in one of our um, other videos. We'll take you guys down here again. Seeing that we're doing arcades today. Different arcades in the city of Perth. London Court's littered with um, little um, unique type shops down here. And the jewel over there called Charles Edward. And I would assume they'd sell quite nice jewellery in there. Looks quite good. Look at the uniqueness in the building, guys. Pretty. Um, pretty old building and if you look up up the top there you can see the new skyscrapers jutting out over there perfectly juxtaposed with the old um, building of London Court so we head down London Court London Court will take you out to St George's Terrace it's quite a busy little place today, you know, on a Saturday morning in Perth.
maybe a, if you want something unique to buy if you're from interstate or overseas uh, or even a local check out London Court it's got a lot of unique stuff down here nice nice little shops Handbags over here for the guys and girls. Ostrich bags, 50% off. So as we make our way down London Court, we can see a few people over here just relaxing, having a coffee or tea. There's a little antique shop over here. Like I said, if you want something unique to take back home, if you're from interstate or overseas, check out London Court. Nice little spot. Nice relaxing spot to just have a stroll down. And you get out to St. George's Terrace over there. And if you cross the road at St. George's Terrace, it's quite an easy way to get to Elizabeth Quay. You just keep walking straight down. And you get to Elizabeth Quay where there's some good dining options down there. More unique stuff over here, guys into collectibles and that looks pretty cool as we make our way to the end of uh, this arcade called London Court uh, we we'll just come across another little shop here in the court with all these nice things going on This is actually um, the end of uh, London Court over here. So that's the end of this arcade. So we'll head on to the next one shortly. Okay guys, we're gonna head down um, from St. George's Terrace, down, a, down an arcade called Trinity Arcade. Now, as you can see, uh, the church you can see over there, that's called Trinity Church. And it's all owned by the same um, church group that owns um, Trinity Arcade and the building on um, Trinity House on the A Street Mall. So we'll head down Trinity Arcade now. It's quite a nice old church actually. This church is heritage listed by the way. And um, beautiful looking church. It's, it's a uniting church. So we'll head down Trinity Arcade over here. A few of the cafes here are still closed. I don't know if they open on a Saturday. Here's a unique cafe here on your left. Check the door out there guys. There's a couple of girls just went past and they're on YouTube now. <laughs> okay now there's um, Trinity Arcade looks a bit deserted today but it's a nice old arcade. It's been um, here for quite a while. Yeah, because Trinity Arcade butts onto St. George's Terrace, a lot of these shops might be open for the work crowd Monday to Friday. But as we head further towards A Street Mall, because this arcade goes out into the A Street Mall, you will find that the shops, that the shops, a few of them will be open. There's a few, yeah, here's a hairdresser over here. Check the dog out over there in the, in the window, guys. <laughs> He's just having a little nap, enjoying the, the morning here in Perth. Now there's, a, there's a few of the little shops, the little cafes seem to be closed, but the other shops are open. Mini cute gift shop over here. You can find some unique stuff here also, check that out. That shop seems to sell some, some nice little gifts. Yeah. Here's an, another nail salon over here on your left. 
and if you're feeling a bit peckish, I think Subway, Subway is over here, so Subway should be open, you would think, yes they're open, Subway's open, guy getting ready there for the, for the lunchtime rush, so we'll go uh, right through these doors over here, because this is where Trinity Arcade goes up in the A Street Mall. So we'll head up these stairs and uh, we should get get out in the A Street Mall over here and a few more shops up here. Yeah we'll keep going, we'll go back again towards St George's Terrace because it's a bit of a um, bit of a, ma a maze this uh, Trinity Arcade. So this looks like the the old part of it. Check the ceilings out over here. They look pretty cool. And this place over here on your right, it's a ma fine menswear shop called Parker & Co. They close at the moment but if you want some real fancy um, suits and stuff. No they are open. That's another door here. They're open. If you want some real flash suits and men's clothing, that's the place to be. Boy. Over here. Looks like they do the alterations over here for the clothing shop. So that there's the church again guys. This is the back of the old church, Trinity Uniting Church. So we'll spin around and head back into the um, Hay Street Mall. So before we were downstairs, that was the downstairs part of Trinity Arcade. Then we went up the stairs and it takes us out here again to the, to the old part. And then from here, we can walk straight into the Hay Street Mall and that'll be the completion of Trinity Arcade. And just have a look over here to your to your left. This here is all the old um, um, stair, the the balustrading from uh, from from years ago over here that I'm pointing to. It's all the balustrading. There's a solid timber over here. Looks and wrought iron down below. Looks really cool. I like that. And. Now we're heading um, out into the A Street Mall and in front over there you can see another arcade called um, Carillion City Arcade. We'll take a walk through there but I'm not sure if there's much in there because what they're doing, they're doing a major renovation in there and it's been going on for about, I don't know, six or seven months now. So we'll take a walk through there and have a look. Okay guys, so we're heading into Carillion City Arcade now. Like I said, um, a lot of the shops will be empty here because they're doing a major renovation of this arcade. But you would think most of the shops will come back uh, once the renovation is complete. So it might be a bit of a boring um, walk through this arcade because um, most of the shops are clo um, empty. But they are gearing up because you can see the names on the shops here. And you would think in the next few months um, it'll be a buzz over here because this is quite a major arcade in the city. Doesn't look like they're doing much to the flooring over here. Because you can still see a lot of cracks in the tiles. I don't know if they're going to lift it and put new flooring down. Um, you would think spending such a lot of money on the, on the ceiling, because that looks pretty good, the ceiling, the way they've done all that. You would think. Now check this out, guys. I don't know if the camera can get this, but upstairs there, this used to be a classic pub up here. If you can get it up there, that used to be a classic pub from the 1970s 
called Sasala's Tavern and sadly they've closed that down. Um, I don't know if they're going to make a comeback, I doubt it. There wasn't talk about it, but that pub was always packed. I've been there many, many a times and uh, that pub was always packed. And a bloke called Keith McDonald used to play guitar in there. I don't know if you guys remember from those days. Keith, if you're listening, good day, mate. How are you? And um, yeah, old Keith McDonald, he used to play over there. Cool. Okay, we've just stepped out of the Carillion and we're, we're over on an overpass here. And that below there is the Murray Street Mall. Hey guys, we're at, uh, we're going down another arcade. This one stretches from the Hay Street Mall right through to the Murray Street Mall. And this is called Piccadilly Theatre and Arcade. I don't think the theatre is operational anymore, but I think there was talk about a comeback. But it's a beautiful old building. So we'll take you in to the Piccadilly Arcade. Now, if you're ever in Perth and you're new in Perth, Come down to the, if you're in the city, come down to the malls over here, the A Street Mall and the Murray Street Mall, and walk through some of these arcades. Because they really are good. They take you straight through to, from one mall to the other, or the other way, um, Trinity Arcade will take you through to um, St George's Terrace. But there's a lot of quirky little shops in some of these arcades. And uh, this year used to be the old Piccadilly Theatre. And you can see the stairs going up there. I think they're doing a little bit of a renovation in there, so the theatre might come back. Here's a, here's a few, over here on your left, here's a few pictures of the, of the movie theatre in its day. There's a few little things of when it started, a bit of history on it and check that out. That looks pretty cool. So as we keep heading down the, the mall, we'll um, have a look at a few of the shops over here. Got a um, little cafe in there selling coffee and teas and stuff. A lot of these shops also um, Oh yeah, he's a hairdresser, yeah, he's open for business. Uh, that hairdresser looks pretty cool actually. A lot of nice colours, here's another ladies hairdresser over here. Open for business. A lot of the shops over here, down here, for lease. Or um, they only open during the week, catering for the lunchtime crowd during working hours but there are a few that are open now on a Saturday morning. So we're going to do another big arcade called Rain Square and um, it's a huge um, arcade on the corner of William Street and A Street. It stretches all the way down to Wellington Street or something. So um, there's a lot of little shops that have been there. It's been around for a long time but they've rebuilt it all and they've retained all the facades of the old buildings. Across the road over here. Little green man. Just watch out for the little green man. He'll give you the go ahead across the 
like a um, lens right here. Nice little shops over here. So we're on William Street over here, guys, and um, there's a few international shops here. This is called Chanel, and uh, obviously, a lot of you would be aware of the quite, uh, quite an internationally known shop. But, um, guys in Chanel just waved over to us. I think they wanted us to come in, but um, we're not getting paid enough to go in there. So and there's another one here called Kalis, um, specialised in jewellery. So we head down until we can find an entrance to Raymond Square. And we'll go through Raymond Square. I think this is the entrance here, yes. Guys, so you can see over here, Raymond Square. Rain, rain. Another confusing little area um, in Perth, WA. Two different names going on. Who names these things? I don't know. But that's Perth, Western Australia. Cinemas up there, guys. The Palace Cinemas. And we've been there. It's quite a flash cinema. Beautiful, um, small cinema. Hey, guys. So we're heading down the escalator here um, to the food court. There's a big food court down here. If you want to check it out? If you're feeling peckish, this place is a nice uh, area to relax in. It's nice and cool. I got the aircon going over here. Um, a lot of different um, takeaway, sorry, um, cafes over here. Uh, prices look quite reasonable. I think we've eaten here at this curry house once and their food was quite nice. Uh, you got a chicken rice corner over here on your left. So it's a Thai restaurant over there to your right. Thai time. Okay, we're still in Rain Square, guys. Got a bit of uh, Aboriginal artwork going on over here as we uh, exit the doors and going into another um, area of, um, of Rain Square. This is the outside area over here. A few more um, cafes out here. There's still, it's quite a big spot this Rain Square, so there's still a bit of construction going on over there as you can see to your right see the construction happening over there so it's not fully completed yet but we are getting there there's a pub over there i think called the flower factory and we'll head out here 
um, to the Murray Street. This, this gets us out of here to Murray Street. Okay, go right. So we're on Murray Street now, and here's a few um, few internationally known um, shops down here. Louis Vuitton's over there. You've got Tiffany and Co. up top there, and like I pointed out before, you've got Chanel and also Rolex front in front over there so if you want to grab yourself something special something nice uh, come into rain square and have a look around just, just passing Tiffany and Covia so this is all located on uh, the corner of Murray Street and Williams Street and it borders uh, Wellington Street also, so it's quite a long sort of um, rain square, it's quite a long arcade um, that you can browse and check out all the nice shops and eateries. Hey guys, we're going to go through um, another little arcade called Wesley Arcade and as you can see there's a beautiful old church over there. This is on the corner of Hay Street and Williams Street. So we'll just take a quick walk down here on the old church there to your left. They are do they're doing some restoration work so the guys are out there doing uh, restoration work on the bricks. Um, as we walk down here there's, there's not a hell of a lot down here. But uh, we'll take you down here, just have a look and uh, check it all out. I, I do like that church. It's a um, heritage listed church, that one. Beautiful old church, beautiful brickwork there. That brickwork's laid in the flaming bond. So we've got um, not many shops down here, there's office works over there. Office Works is a big stationery shop in Perth. Also sells um, computers and all sorts of things like that, Fo mobile phones, etc. So we're just walking out onto uh, Hay Street here. We'll, we'll go. Um, Some people call it Wesley Quarter, some people call it Wesley Arcade. Hey guys, we are at a, a little known arcade called Arcade 800 and it's just off um, well, uh, Murray Street in the west end of the city. We'll just take a little walk down here and have a look. Krispy Kreme over here guys, to your left. Didn't even know this existed out here in the city. Seems to be a few little um, cafes down here. Few, few for lease signs also. Doesn't look like it's a very long arcade. But it's all nice and it's old. It's an old arcade. That artwork looks quite nice there on the wall. Check that out. It's really good. Quite like that. Well thought out. And here we have a. Um, looks like they're selling skateboards over here. A lot of other things. Well, oh, that's just skateboards on the wall, I think, for a bit of art. So it's not a very long arcade. This is actually the end of the arcade, yeah? It looks a bit, and we're back onto um, Wolf Lane. Okay, guys, 
This here is the 140 Arcade. We'll just take a walk in the city of Murray Street Mall. So we'll just take a little walk down here and um, show you what's down this arcade. It looks quite nice. The ceiling looks really good. You can see the ceiling, very colourful there. A few um, nice shops over here. And right down the end there, we'll get to that in a minute, but you can see the Globe Hotel. Now that hotel has been in Perth for a long, long time. It had a major refurbishment quite a few years back and it has become a real trendy um, place, that Globe Hotel. But way back in the day, that used to be quite a Darrow sort of pub, if I could use such a word these days. Um, check to your right over there. Look at that ceiling, very colourful. I like that ceiling, that looks pretty cool. It looks like it's made out of uh, Perspex. I think it is made out of Perspex. And um, there's quite a few restaurants around down this arcade. You've got Bam Bam Boo over here, which um, looks like an Asian type noodle house. And over here on the left, you've got Ribs and Burgers which is an American um, burger joint, I think. And of course, like I spoke about before, the Globe Hotel there in front of us, which is done that up really, really beautifully. The old guy wants to be on film, so he's checking us out. We're heading across here to the left. And this is the Globe Hotel over here. And the artwork over there. Look at that artwork, guys. That looks pretty special. I don't know who the artist is, but uh, right in front of us here, we've got Nando's. Well-known um, chicken establishment. And over here, like I said, we've got ribs and burgers. Now, we could, we could, if you come around this way, we'll go into this pub and just have a look. and show you guys around. Hey guys, we're going to take a look at Gledon Arcade. An old arcade that's been around there for a long time. It comes out through um, William Street and it'll take us back onto uh, A Street Mall. Okay, so we're going to enter Gledon Arcade over here from um, A Street Mall. And Gledon Arcade should exit onto Wellington Street. So there's a jewellery here called Stefan and they've been around for a long, long time. Quality jewellery. You can't be along, around that long if you don't sell quality gear. And there's a few specialty shops in here. This isn't a very big arcade as you can see. It's um, virtually coming to its end now. So this is it. This enters onto or exits onto um, Wellington Street over here. Uh, sorry, William Street over here. And um, we're out on William Street now, so not a very long arcade. Okay guys, so this is the end of our um, little um, trip with uh, showing you all the arcades in the city of Perth. And, um, you know, if you're ever in the city of Perth, take a walk down some of these arcades. They really are nice. A lot of quirky shops in here, a lot of interesting things to do. There are a few that's been refurbished at the moment, like we mentioned. 
But yeah, if you're in the city of Perth, take a walk down these arcades. I'll, um, if you if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next one.